Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, this video is going to be on the three moment equation. This is the third part of the two part video that I did on the three moment equation method. And um, I, we got a request to do the bending moment diagram for the question and the shear. So I thought I'd just make a quick video on that. Just a reminder guys, if you're enjoying the channel to, to like the video down below and also hit the subscribe button because it really does uh, help us out. Thanks so much for that. All right, so let's take a look. If you'll recall, um, link in the description of the first two parts of this video. Okay, uh, we solved the for the reactions of this indeterminate beam, the first degree indeterminate beam using the three moment equation. And we arrived at BY is 62.2 kip and CY is 17.4 kip with AY is 20.4. So let's just go ahead and let's just start to draw the shear and we'll see what we get. So um, we're gonna use the, the method in which we don't do any uh, equations. So we're gonna go up 20.4 kip, okay? We're gonna go across to the 30, right? Because we have this 30 kip that's down. Okay, we're gonna get negative 9.6. Very good. Let's go ahead over to the 20. We'll subtract another 20 to get 29.6, negative. Okay, and we're going over to B, and when we get to B, we're gonna add the reaction because it's up. That's gonna give us 32.6. And now we have a distributed load which is acting downwards. Okay, and if you don't see the arrows, if you just see straight lines drawn, that's always down. Okay, so let's uh, multiply this 2.5 by the the distance, which is gonna be 50. That's ne it's negative because it's down. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's add that to 32.6, the negative number, we're gonna get 17.4. And as we can see, okay, we have a 17.4 kip reaction at CY, so we go back to zero. Cool. So before we start, I, we're going to need to know where this point of zero shear is when we're drawing the bending moment diagram because we want to label that spot. So let's go ahead and do that right off the bat. We know the slope of this is, this line here is 2.5 kip per feet. We know that the rise over the run is the slope. Okay, so we need to solve for the run. Okay, so rise divided by slope. We're going to get this distance is 13.04 feet. Okay, subtract 20, we get this is 6.96 feet up to this point. Very good. Let's go ahead and draw the moment diagram using the areas. So we, the, we know that these are eight. I like to label this here and that makes it a little easier so that when we could just look at this, find the areas and translate them directly. So we have 20.4, okay, that's times eight. That's going to give us 163.2. All right, and then we have a negative moment here, so that's going to be subtracting from our positive moment there. Yeah, that's going to give us 86.4. So we have 86.4, okay, and we have 86.4, and we have 29.6 negative here, okay, so 86.4, okay minus 29.6 times 8, that's going to give us 150.4. So it's actually slightly different than the uh, the value that we got, but it's off by less than a kip, so that's reasonable amount of error. Okay, that's negative, this is positive. So then from negative uh, 150.4, let's add the area of this triangle here. Okay, we're going to go up to, okay, so we're going to get 62.15. And if we go ahead and subtract the area of this triangle here, we're going to get, we're going to get roughly zero, okay? So um, you'll notice that this is a little bit slightly different than the value that we got uh, from the three moment equation method, okay? And, um, and the reason for that is that when we calculated by, for example, we had more decimal places and we actually rounded them to one decimal place and then came up with 62.2, for example. And that's going to give us a slightly different number. Uh, we got 151.5, I believe, from the uh, from the other question. And in this, as you can see, we got 150.4. So this is off by about a kip at the end. But, um, you know, in an exam, you may want to take more than one decimal just so that, you know, you, you probably wouldn't lose too many marks, to be honest, on a test situation. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a discrepancy here in terms of what you get. So, if you know, if, if, it's, a, if it's 0.5 off or 1 off and you did make a rounding 
procedure, or you, you round it at some point during the question, don't panic on the exam. If it's not going exactly to zero, just, just draw it to zero and maybe you'll lose half a mark for a rounding error or something like that. But if you really want to be more precise, when we're doing uh, the calculations for AY, BY, and CY, take a few more decimals and it will be much closer to zero. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe as usual and uh, see you guys next time.